pulled up, tell him pull the curtain, roll 203, got a fifth of bourbon, got four of bitches that shep the German that I want to break from my... What's up guys, Amir here from Awkward Gaming, joined by Jerry, aka Victory Saber. Hey, what's up guys? And today we're going to talk about the clothes sets that can be transferred into Xenoverse 2, but specifically the top 10 in our opinion, okay? Want to focus on that in our opinion. I know you have things that you want to transfer over that you think are better, and that's totally fine. You don't have to listen to us. But for people that don't know where to start, this is the video for you guys, okay? It gives you a general idea of which clothes sets are best to transfer over and for what types. And uh, Jerry, you want to go and do your disclaimer that you pre-wrote? Yeah, uh, basically everything Amir said, if you guys have your own clothes outfit that you want to bring for sure, by all means, please bring it. I mean, with that being said, I'm actually just going to bring in my regular Jerry outfit from Xenoverse 1 because I want the Jerry character uh, in Xenoverse 2 to look the way he did in Xenoverse 1, and I don't really care about what uh, clothes he's going to bring over. But, like I said before, or like Amir said before, this is just our opinion. We did go through the entire list from the website uh, from the last video. You guys should definitely watch that. And uh, picked out the ones that we thought were the best. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of overwhelming if you do look at the list. There's like, I don't know, 20 plus clothes sets. It's and all the clothes. Yeah, for someone who doesn't really know how this works, it's kind of overwhelming. So it's easier to just, you know, water it down to the best clothes sets. Because everyone wants to know which ones just are statistically the best. And uh, statistically, these are the best throughout the entire list. All right, starting off this list, we got the Whis Battle Suit, uh, Vegeta's version, the one he wore during the Universe 6 tournament, and the one he wore while he was uh, training with Whis. Ironically, now it's more for Key Blasters rather than Strike Supers as it was in the first game. It's got minus 5 in health, plus 5 in Key, minus 5 in stamina, and plus 5 in Key Blast Supers. So this is really great for uh, Key Blast Supers because, you know, it doesn't give any negatives in key or uh it does give in stamina though which is really bad but it does get that key blast super that you really need so here's one just for you all right next we have the time patrol suit it is plus five in health plus five in key minus five in stamina minus five in basic attack minus five in strike supers and plus five in key blast supers uh previously this code set used to be geared towards strike uh, and basic attackers but now, as you can see, the stats are definitely geared towards Key Blasters, and that's a trend you will definitely see throughout the list. Uh, previously, clothes that were geared towards Strikers are now more geared towards Key Blasters. And, I don't know, it's a pretty good thing for Key Blasters, I suppose. It kind of hurts, uh, you know, Strikers a little bit, but I guess it's okay. But we're going to keep moving on to the next one. So, number three, we have the Beerus clothes, which is really good for hybrids in Xenoverse 1. But now, for Xenoverse 2, it's just Key Blasters. We got minus five in health plus five in key, plus five in stamina, minus basic, minus strike, both five, and plus five in key blast supers. I really like this outfit, um, even though the minus health is pretty bad, but you do get that stamina boost and key blast boost, plus the uh, regular key boost. So really good for key blasters and it'll help you. Hopefully it'll give you the edge in battle. All right, next we have Vegito's clothes. It is plus five in health, minus five in stamina, plus five in basic attack, and minus five in key blast supers. And this is more geared towards basic attackers and again, the stats have totally changed. This clothes set used to be more geared towards uh, key blasters, and now it's basic attackers, and that's just a change we have to deal with. Uh, on to the next one. All right, number five, we have Battlesuit Bardock, a fan favorite one. It used to be just for uh, basic attack and strikers, but now just basic attack, as it has plus five in health, minus five in key, plus five in stamina, plus five in basic attack, and minus five in both strikers and key blast supers so obviously you wouldn't want to use this for a striker character anymore it's just basic attack although in xenoverse 2 um the developers are saying that you know dumping all your points in just one attacking stat is not going to be beneficial to you anymore but you know got to take everything with a grain of salt next we have the whiskey it has minus five in health plus five in stamina plus five in basic attack and minus five in key blast supers and this one is geared towards basic attackers and uh yeah next one Okay, coming in at number seven, we have the four-star Dragon Ball outfit, which, again, takes the uh, the change. It is now just for strikers, as it actually gives you a minus five in Key Blast supers, plus five in health, minus five in stamina, and plus five in striker. So, it's kind of weird. Now this outfit is literally pitching for the other team. Uh, it's really good for people who just want to use moves like Meteor Crash and Spirit Sword and all that good stuff. So. There you go, you got a little outfit change now. 
Now we have Gogeta's Cloud set. It is plus five in key, minus five in stamina, plus five in strike, and minus five in key blast supers. This is a build or a cloud set actually, geared towards strikers, and you know it's a pretty decent cloud set. I like it. Next. All right, coming in at number nine, we got Broly's Clothes. Uh, this used to be really good for strikers, giving pretty much five arrows and all the moves you need, except for Key Blast. But now it's good for Key Blasters and uh, basic attackers. So it's kind of a hybrid clothes now. It has minus five in health, plus five in key, minus five in stamina, plus five in basic, minus striker, and minus five in, oh, plus five actually in key blast super. Uh, I don't know, I really like this outfit. I really like the pants and the gloves and the shoes of this, but not really the top. I don't know, the top just looks kind of off for me. But this will be really good for key blasters. I might actually use this on uh, some of my playthroughs later on when I get it in the game not actually transferring it over. All right, the last one on the list is the Crystal Battle Suit, and sadly, not everyone has this code set. It was a special given to those who pre-ordered Dragon Ball Z Universe 1 back when it first came out, so not everyone's gonna have it, which totally sucks, but for those of you guys who do have it, I'm gonna go over the stats because it's a very great code set. It has plus two in health, plus two in key blast, plus two in stamina, plus two in basic attack, minus four in strike supers, and plus two in key blast super, uh, supers, sorry. And this is geared towards basic and key blast hybrids, and it's a great preset. Like, it's amazing. I, I actually am very sad that I don't have it because I didn't pre-order the game. But, uh, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And remember, this is just our opinion. If you have an outfit that you really like, and you want to bring it just for fashion's sake, or you find another outfit that you think is better than any of the ones we uh, suggested so far, I mean, by all means, please, just bring it. Don't even pay any attention, just bring that outfit. Do You do you, you know. But if you don't have any idea what to do, this is just, you know, kind of a basis. It just gives you an idea. Uh, if you haven't checked out some of our older Xenoverse videos or our Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 beta livestream videos, you should definitely check those out. Don't forget to check us out at Twitter at twitter.com slash gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. beta live stream that we did uh, raditz and nappa are masters which wasn't a thing in xenoverse one so i'm guessing bardock is going to be a master so dims just doesn't want people to use bardock moves before